Hello guys, welcome back to 123 weeks. Your girl's coming at you looking like a Barbie pink princess today, hey. This week is all about home improvements, guys. My birthday is gonna be on Saturday, which is gonna be in next week's vlog. Your girl's gonna turn 30, the big 3-0. Last week's vlog, you guys saw that we cut down the tree, the beautiful cherry tree. She gone, girl, she gone. They like, literally opened up my whole garden. We wanna paint our banisters, that's like a wood color at the moment, we wanna paint it white. We are gonna be painting the fence either a dark gray or black we haven't quite decided yet i don't know if we bit of more than we can chew i'm going to be having a birthday party outside in the garden so very very hit and miss with the uk weather because this whole week the weather forecast is raining but it says that it's going to be sunny on saturday so i'm hoping my fingers toes my flaps are crossed girl i'm hoping that the sun will come out on saturday because if it rains on saturday then all my plans are basically ruined i also need to replace the sink that's inside of my bathroom as well because it's cracked this room that I'm in now is kind of like my guest bedroom as well. We have a fold up bed that is in here and it's nice when my guests come around, they have an ensuite and that sink guys, it's cracked. It's so embarrassing. It's got duct tape there at the moment. So hopefully Grant can have some space to put in a new sink for me this week as well. I had to put my hats off to Grant because he's got a lot of things that he needs to do this week and it's kind of all on him. He's going to be so tired, bless him. But he's roped in his dad, which has been so kind to come over and offer to help paint the fence as well. The men that we need in our life, yes. <laughs> I am dressed up today because your girl's gonna go do her nails. I'm gonna be getting my birthday nails today. Can you guys believe that I actually have all 10 fingernails? Yeah, they are very much fully outgrown, but i very proud of myself that I went to Hawaii and I went to Vegas and I didn't snap any of my nails, so. Pat on the back to me, girl, pat on the back to me. We are on our way to go see Sammy. Look, we just done my nails. Oh my God. These are the perfect birthday nails. We literally went for like a glitter tip and then diamantes. So like every single time I come here, I feel like my next set tops the last set. I don't know if I showed you guys the situation with my sink. <laughs> I basically was doing my skincare and I opened up the cabinet and that happened. This cabinet is so full. Literally every single time I open it, things are falling out and cracked my sink. There's literally like a massive hole underneath this. We had to do a quick Asian DIY. There's a big crack in my sink. Oh, so sad. I'm thinking to change up the sink and add something with a cabinet because I've just got so much skincare. As you guys can see, it's overflow, so I need someone to store it. So we're gonna see today if we can go to B&Q and get a new sink. How many times have you been to B and Q now? Too many times, like four times. Glad has underestimated the job of the fence, guys. It takes too much paint, guys. <laughs> Don't do it. We thought, oh, you know, maybe like two buckets of paint. How many buckets of paint have we gone through now? Probably like eight. <laughs> each pot of paint is fifteen pound each, and we still need to go buy more. We're back here again. No more paint. Right, next up, we're looking for a seat. God, the sink selection here is not very great, is it? So we're looking at this kind of sink that has like a little drawer, but this is a small B&Q, so we have to drive 20 minutes down the motorway to find another B&Q. We need to buy some garden furniture. Why is garden furniture so expensive? 521 pounds, and that's on sale. Before it was 695 pounds. For this little chair here, but they know everyone wants it for summertime, so it's like. <sighs> if anyone knows where I can get some cheap, Good quality garden furniture. Let your girl know. When we was looking for houses, guys, I was like, oh, I want a big garden, you know, I want all this space. I didn't realize that when you get a big garden, you have to get bigger furniture <laughs> and that is more expensive. You can't just get like one chair. You have to get like a corner sofa. You have to get furniture that fills up the space. Basically means it's more expensive. So um, I kind of shot myself in the foot there. Look how huge this B&Q is. The mega Ikea of B&Q, guys. If I don't find a sink here, I'm never gonna find a sink, girl. Guys, what do you think about this sink? It's got a nice handle. I don't know if it's too wide though. Is this too wide? I don't know. But I quite like the look of a floating sink. This one might be cute. Okay, we found her. Imandra, honey. Hello. I have hired a new gardener. <laughs> Chop your nipples off. Oh my God, look at that chainsaw. That's crazy. There's a hedge trimmer. Oh. I was trimming half the hedge, but then the battery ran out. Can oh. you see it's been trimmed? Yeah. This week we are doing a full transformation of our garden. If you guys saw in last week's vlog, we cut down our tree and now our garden is literally double the size. I'm going back to the hedge because apparently the battery died, but it's not. Let me show y'all. Oh my god, it's like cutting your bush. <laughs> it's like trimming your peeves, guys. <laughs> Our banister here, which Grant's gonna be painting white, is gonna go so much nicer with the house. And then all of the fence around here, we're gonna be painting a dark grey. Just so it looks a little bit more sleek, 
a little bit more modern. What happened to the bush, guys? It's meant to get prettier, but it got uglier. There's no more overhang, though, but got, there's two more branches up there to cut. I want to just finish it before you move on to the next job. Because I took a drink break and <laughs> clearly didn't go back. <laughs> we got this one seal fence charcoal grey. It looks uh, light. light. Put it in my spray gun. It looks a bit watery. Oh, how am I going to fucking pour this? YOLO. Oh, no, it's not going in there, girl. Oh, oh my days. No. I tried. You're not going to plant, girl. <laughs> tried to protect the grass. As much as we can. Even though when it grows, you can just cut it. Yeah. We just don't want to give it, uh, you know, highlights. I am a little bit scared that this colour is a little bit light. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if I like this colour though. Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of screwed because I don't like this pink colour. Way too light. It is nothing like the image. This is the image here, charcoal grey. That looks like a dark grey. So instead we might paint our shed this colour instead. We're going to switch it around and instead of painting the shed black, we're going to paint the fence black. Then the shed we're going to paint grey so we don't waste this paint. Look, my Vietnamese scoop. <laughs> we should really get like a funnel or something. But... Okay, round two. Now we've got like 100 metres of fence to go. Before and the after. Ah! Morning guys, look how beautiful the sky is today. Now that the tree is gone, look, it's so bright. If the tree was here, this would have all been shaded. So it's so nice to have so much sun in the morning. This is the fence update. We have slowly, slowly painted it. I'm not sure guys, is it too dark? Loki, a little bit, we're going to have decision, but it's kind of halfway done now. We just have to do this side of the fence. We went through like five pots of five litre paint. Maybe because it's like windy outside and when you spray it, it's like, Spraying all over the place. Are you happy with it? What do you think? When I stand back and look at the house, I was like, it doesn't really match the house. Okay, so Grant's on his next duties now. Just painting this balustrade to a white. <laughs> it's only taken us a whole year to do it. <laughs> so Grant is taping up all of this metal wire thing. He's taking longer to do this than painting. <laughs> Whenever you paint wood, you have to use something called this Zenza paint. And this is like a paint primer. It actually sticks to wood mm -hmm. and then the paint sticks to the Zenza. So it stops the wood and the yellow from coming back through the white paint. Fingers crossed to Graham. He has sanded this all down yesterday. So it's a nice, glorious sunny day. So good luck with that, Graham. Good evening from Princess Jasmine. Hey. I literally have been filming all damn day, guys. And how cute is this makeup? I feel like whenever I wear blue, I'm like, hello. Today is an exciting day, guys, because I'm finally going to a PR event. <laughs> When's the last time you see me go to a PR event in a vlog, guys? It's been way too long. Today's not just any PR event. We are heading off to London because it's my friend Gary's lash launch with Ilo. He has another collaboration with them, which I'm so proud about. I feel like my friends are just killing it recently and I haven't seen them in so long. But guys, today's a sad day because Guang is not feeling very well. He's been doing the most, painting outside, bending over, picking things up. His body is feeling exhausted and now he's bed bound, unfortunately. He's got a really, really bad cough, a bad headache, a bad fever. Me and Guang are actually staying separately because my birthday's coming up and I can't get ill. So I'm gonna be sleeping separately today. How are you feeling? I'm dead. Oh, oh. Oh God. Look at all the teas and the orange juices and all of the fluids that I've been feeding him. Sad times, sad times. But I'm gonna love you and leave you, babe. You're gonna have to fend for yourself. She's leaving me to die. How cute is my outfit today? I'm wearing this dress from Opoly. It's been in my wardrobe for so long. I remember the first time I tried this on, I was like, what is this long string? And then I had to go on the website and realize, oh my God, it's meant to go wrap around your neck. So it just adds like a cool little detail rather than just be like a boob tube dress, you know? And then it also comes with these little sleeves. These white platform shoes are from Simi. They are super, super comfortable. And um, my car's been waiting outside for literally like 30 minutes. So it's time for me to go, girl. This place is so fancy. <laughs> I see the Vegas light. <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm a Vegas fiend. Yeah. I've been telling her for years, yeah. This is why I went back like five times. Yeah. I was like, oh, why she going back to Vegas? So now I see why. She thought I was crazy, so I kept going back. <laughs> now I'm like, now you know. Now I know. I'm ready to book my next flight already. <laughs> the fact that you didn't go to <laughs> and did you go to Wet Republic? Yeah, I yeah. went. <laughs> it was a 
I rode it, they had this massive slushy. Yeah. Oh, like seventy dollars, and it literally kept going all day. Same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, no, but I was so pissed that I had to pay for it. They said that girls must go for free everywhere in Vegas. I did. Listen, I was free everywhere, and there's the one time I got to a pool party and no one gave me a drink like when I first got there. Girl, you should have flooded those islands of all. I did. I did a lap, and then I got my drink. I was like, listen, I've just paid seventy dollars for this. I'm drinking this first. Oh, you're drinking the Then I'm going to the table. <laughs> All the girls did such an amazing job and no one the first round came out. It was the lockdown, so we couldn't do this. But now we're here and I appreciate and love all of you that are here. Aww. Thank you so much for all your support on the stories, posting, just anything. It means so much. I love you guys so much. And yeah, thank you for being here. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about these lashes, Gary. So the cold purr. Hey. Purr for the moment and purr for the attitude. Oh. Yeah. They're very white boots, guys. They're white boots right now. They look so Click good. Click to get it, guys. I'm, like, they I'm are wearing them. Sad and bougie. <laughs> Lucky you guys have me because if it was up to Grand, he would never vlog anything. He has made some progress. He has come off his dying deathbed. We no longer have a sink inside of the bathroom. Dun dun dun. There is the crack sink in all its glory. <laughs> How can I be doing this? I need to be more careful. Why am I so clumsy, girl? He's put the tap inside of the sink, which is a good sign. Little dilemma. We got the sink in. We've still got the plumbing work to do. Little dilemma we have. We bought a big sink, big drawers, not enough space. I looked at the toilet and I was like, it's really tight. So I sat on it like this. You have to sit sideways. It's a little annoying because you can't really sit on the toilet properly. It's so close to hitting the sink and the door. I finished your oh sink. My well done, Grant. He's been ill on his last day in deathbed, but he's still come through. Woo! I don't have any more days to be <laughs> sitting on my deathbed. She being? This is what it is. We kept the towel here because I didn't want to rip out the towel and then, like, paint it, had yeah. to paint it and repatch it up. It's a bit small, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's a bit small, yeah. But it's just to stop, like, splashes and stuff like that. I'm sure eventually Twee might want to tile it again. I how small this ensuite is. This is how close I am to losing my patience with Gran. <laughs> <laughs> how close I'm losing my shit between. Really, you can't spread them. You can't spread them. You have to spread them like this. You spread them this way, but you can't spread them. It's more functional because Twee's got now a lot of space. Hey, I've got drawers now. She put her shit in. Clearly, it has too much shit in here. Yeah. My... Oh! oh my god! Imagine if that cracked. See? This is what I mean about you. Imagine if that cracked. Thanks, Grang! Grang is an electrician, a gardener, a professional painter. I could do everything, guys. Yeah, handyman. If you guys need someone like me, yeah. I'm up for hard. also give some good dick as well sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. All the time, mate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the current state of the house. We've got so much surface space in the kitchen. Our shit just goes everywhere. So, since Grand has been such an amazing boyfriend this last week, oh. I got you a surprise. It's about 200 pounds on you. Personal shopper over here. Personal shopper. Come on, eh? I've got you the shorts and the trouser version. It's a matching t-shirt. Oh, that's cute. It's not like a co ord but do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. It reminds me of like Yeezy kind of colours. This material bought a snag. Yeah. I hate when the material snags. Yeah, and it won't make you look fat as well. That's the most important thing. Ooh, track suit. Yes! Wow, it's cute. cute. You like it? Yeah, very nice. You know white is too harsh for a guy to wear, but I feel like nude is like, it gives you that brightness, you know, without wearing that like full on white. Guy likes a little button up sometimes when he likes to be smart. Nice. And look, this is the same material, look, it matches. Mm. You need to check, you definitely got this because look, these two go together. Look how cute this jacket is. Snazzy. I love it when he wears lighter colours. He always looks so fresh. I'm so used to seeing Grant wear dark colours all the time. Whenever I see him wear light colours, I'm like, yes! If I ever am not an influencer, I'll be a personal shopper or a DJ or event planner. One of those. A girl of many talents. Okay, guys, who is ready for the big garden reveal? Dun dun dun! I have been waiting to turn on the vlog to show you guys outside when it's sunny because honestly the weather here in the UK has been terrible. It's been raining. Hello Grang, Mr. Plumber, Gardener, Painter, Electrician. Bang has been ill for the last couple of days so you guys see I'm actually staying away from him. We've been sleeping on separate beds because I cannot afford to get ill before my birthday. Not me, the main attraction over here. So it has been like all hands on deck trying to sort everything out as well as working 
working as well as unpacking as well as going to events and it's just been like crazy this week i'm literally looking outside at the garden now and do you know what i haven't even been outside yet because it's just been raining and pouring so you guys gotta come out with me for the first time how cute is my makeup today? I literally just filmed this look for a makeup video on TikTok. So if you guys want to see how I created it, go follow my TikTok, bitch. Just to be clear, some of it is not finished. Come on out. Oh, oh my God. It looks so much better white. Girl, you need to fill in these cracks with paint. You need to shove loads of paint in here so you can't see that crack, girl. Look like this. When you put paint in there, you can just barely notice the crack. That's a small crack, babe. That crack is fucking humongous. It's like the equator over here. It's a little bit like... Wishy washy. I was meant to give it more paint, but kind of clearly, I got too ill for that. <laughs> but look at this fence, guys. Look at the fence. Look at the bird shit. Oh. Shit everywhere. Guys, every single day, birds come and sit here and they perk their bum on here and use this as their toilet. And then they also go right at the tip there of our house and they shit right there as well. They do it every single day. Every single time Grand Jet washes this patio, it's just like the next day, more shit comes on our doorstep, basically. We need to paint this shed, babe. This shed can't be blue. We need I've to- I've got no time for this. This is my first time coming out here on these streets. The best decision ever was to chop down that tree. Whoever told me to not chop down a tree, you, you hate us, guys. You, you guys hate us. Look, I could have had this a year ago. Wow, wow, wow. The grass needs to be cut again. Look how much space we have. And it looks so much more modern as well, now that it's black. You know what guys, I was really like, oh my God, I really regret painting it black. But you know now that it's all painted, it actually looks really nice and really modern. It makes the house look so much more modern. It's kind of like the juxtaposition between like the all black fences and a white house. It's like, oh, hello, 2020. Plans are guys. So we have loads of plans in the future for this garden, okay? So when we rack up a bit more coin, <laughs> I basically want to extend the patio over here. This patio is an afterthought that the builders built. I wish it was a lot bigger. I feel like it's so small for the size of this garden, but they just want to do the bare minimum. You know how people do. So basically this patio here, I want to extend it all the way to the end of this house okay, i want to put all glass banisters around or even no banisters maybe i'll just do like a big patio and there's steps leading down so i want it to come all the way to the side of the house and then probably out until like here extra like two meters maybe and then i want like stairs to come down into the garden because we still have so much more space in the garden i just feel like the patio needs to be a lot bigger i also would love to put astro turf on here because this grass is so patchy and it's also like not a nice grass to walk on. The only thing is Astro Turf is very expensive, so I don't know about that. Also on this side, I basically want to create a summer house. So I want to create like a gym out here. Whenever I'm mad, you know, send Gran out there, he can sleep outside in the dog house, you know, one of those situations. And then I also really want to create a pergola. Gran is thinking that he can make it himself, like some decking. I cannot wait for this summer where we can start doing barbecues outside and have my family over. If you guys know anywhere that we can get some good, cheap garden furniture, let me know because at the moment we're literally borrowing all my sister's furniture right now. And yeah, she's yeah. like, um, I'm gonna need that back soon. And I'm like, no, no, please, I have nowhere to sit. So the only thing is garden furniture is so expensive. The one that I want is like five grand. This damn shed here, we're gonna paint it like a light gray. Um, the original color that the fence was gonna be, it's gonna go on this shed. I hate the blue color. No one wants a blue shed, girl. The only thing is though, it, it's on a concrete slab. So we need to build another concrete slab somewhere else and move the shed. If anyone has any ideas on how to move the damn shed, let your girl know. We're planning to put the shed down here. This side of the garden, that is basically just like an empty dead space because that fence over there doesn't open. So this is just literally like dead space. It's actually quite a wide little gap. I've never been down here before, you know. I don't understand why they're going to build the house further. I know, we could have had a much bigger house, but I guess there has to be like a certain distance from the other house or whatever. But I'm glad because I can pump up the music and no one ain't gonna complain because my neighbors are far, far away. Okay. So that is it for our garden transformation. Can someone please give a double tap? Leave some nice comments for dear Gran here because he is literally on his dying deathbed. Gran is 
pacing through and trying to do as much as you can before my birthday next week. So make sure you tune in next week's vlog because your girl's gonna be turning 30 and I'm gonna try to vlog everything for you guys to keep the memories. So I'm actually gonna end this week's vlog and start it now because we have a lot of prepping to do for the next couple of days. So I'm gonna stop this vlog here and start the next vlog. You guys can see what we get up to, but we want to show you guys the transformation. Any words of advice for people that are painting fences and all that kind of stuff? Don't do it. Why do we don't do it? Don't. It's changed our garden so much. It looks so much more modern now. <laughs> Unless you have two weeks to spare. I took a week painting it. And he also he had two people as well. He had his dad helping yeah. as well. So thank you to Grandstad for helping us. It wouldn't be possible without him. But yeah, if you've got a small garden and not many fences, just do it. But we have a really big garden and it's not gonna get painted ever again. Definitely get yourself a spray paint gun because if you don't buy a paintbrush and roll off, you'll be here for three weeks. <laughs> if you are painting anything white, make sure to use a Zenza paint underneath and it stops the paint from like cracking and peeling in the future. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. The sink I used yesterday and I'm loving it. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog, guys. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. I'm dead. <coughs> <laughs> okay guys, so that is it for our garden can you look a bit more interested, please? <laughs> no. I just think that I got shit to do. He's trying to escape again. Uh, scram! Get out of here! He's trying to do a run. He's trying to escape. No, bitch. Get back to work. Oh Stop trying to go on vacation. Continue vacuuming. Yeah, that's right, bitch. The I'm, one last no, thing I need you to do. I'm not actually sick. I'm sick of telling you shit. Out with the old and in with the new. Hello there. Hello, boxy box. You right there, SpongeBob SquarePants? But does she actually work though? Let's see. Ah, she's alive. Feelings that remain for ya. Far away. Do you love my singing? You must be my number one supporter. What is this? Hello, it's Beyonce up in here. Should we low key tell them that we're filming this backwards? We've already done the garden already, but we're just putting this at the front of the video. <laughs> it's lies, I tell you, lies! It's tricks of the trade! Are you ill? <laughs> I'm Oh shit, COVID. As you can see, I'm in the kitchen, right? Can I just cook with some, some food or something, you know what I mean? But someone's in the way because Pete is learning how to work. On YouTube. Hey, try it, man. Try it. Try it. Get me up. What the hell is that? Is it your trousers? Because <laughs> they was the ass. You're about to come on, man. This is what I learned, yeah. Get your knees like this first, yeah? You put your hands forward like this. You spread it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> now my knees hurt so bad. I <laughs> oh, I've got bruises, guys. Guys, I give that a few out of 10. Just a little pre warning, girls. That arch really matters. It's not this. It's not this. <laughs> This is two TMI! This is the goal. This is what we're aiming for, ladies. Come on, come on. $100 bills. That's my last night. Hey, I'm not no stripper.